Warning, the following video contains graphic footage. Viewer discretion is advised. I went on my profile when I got close. I seen that uh, all these parts were missing. Cut out? One eye and the ear and the tongue. And there was a piece of skin missing on the jaw. Skin missing on the jaw. And was there any blood? No, no blood. And then there was another piece of skin on the front by the rib case. Would it have been over the heart area? Yeah, on that, yeah. Uh -huh. How big was the piece of skin missing over the heart? Oh, it was probably like 8 to 10 inches, like kind of round. And then an uter. Milk bag? Yes. There was two stitches, two of them cut off. Two of the four were cut out of the bag? Exactly, yeah. And what about the back of her? All of it was missing. Got real nice cut, you know, real round and no blood. Was it the rectum and the vaginal area? Everything, yeah. Everything removed in a bloodless hole? Mm-hmm. When you looked on the ground around the animal, did you see any tracks? No, no, not at all. And no signs of struggle? No, no. Uh, what did you do when you found her? Who did you call? I called the sheriff's office. And what happened? Well, they took them about three hours to get there, and they finally showed up, and I took one of the officers, and he took some pictures, and so did I. I took some pictures also. And how long did the deputy stay investigating? 15, 20 minutes. So he didn't try to take any tissue or hair? Or no, no. What were his comments? He didn't know what happened. That's all he said. I don't know. He just took pictures. He didn't have no idea. They weren't going to do any forensic examination of tissue or fluid or anything? No, they don't do that, no. Why? Why don't they do that? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know why they don't do it, but they don't. Here are the facts. While the famous Charles Fort mentioned unusual attacks on livestock as far back as the late 19th century, reports of modern animal mutilation in the U.S. first began to hit papers in the 1960s. In 1967, a newspaper called the Pueblo Chieftain reported that Colorado resident Agnes King found her horse Lady bizarrely mutilated and killed. Though the horse's neck had been skinned, there was no blood at the scene. Agnes's son Harry reported a strong medicinal odor in the air. Concerns over so-called mysterious mutilations of cattle, horses, and other livestock grew as the years went by. Today, many biologists, skeptics, and mainstream media figures believe the cases were a symptom of mass hysteria, wherein ordinary predation and scavenging were mistaken for the work of cults, cryptids, or even extraterrestrials. Were they correct? Were fringe beliefs about cattle mutilation simply the domain of kooks and eccentrics? Here's where it gets crazy. The answer isn't as simple as it might at first appear. As reports of cattle mutilation grew, concerns eventually reached the government. In 1975, Colorado Senator Floyd K. Haskell reached out to the FBI for help, claiming there had been reports of mutilations in nine states and 130 incidents in Colorado alone. By 1979, the FBI was on the case. They dubbed the project Operation Animal Mutilation and estimated that there had been as many as 8,000.